Hey guys, Steven here, and today I'm going to show you how to mask objects in Adobe XD. So this first method that I'm going to show you uh, isn't really masking per se, but more so filling in an, a background image. What you're going to want to do is drag an image on top of an object that's already been made, such as like a rectangle, a circle, or a custom vector object. So take your image and drag it on, and that's, that's pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, but like I said, that's not really masking. Uh, to mask on Windows, since there's currently no menu option for this, you have to do it by keystrokes. You have to hit Control Shift M. On Mac, it is going to be Command Shift M, and you can also find it within the menu up top. But in order to mask something, you must have the object you want masked and an object to go in front of it, like so. You'll select both of them by hitting Shift and then clicking both of them at the same time. Again, make sure this object's in front, and you're going to hit Control shift m If you want it undone, you have to hit Control shift g You can also Control click within to adjust the mask itself, or you can adjust the content within the mask. You can also do the same thing with pictures and have a little bit more control. Uh, again, you have to make sure that that's on top. You hit Control shift m and then you'll have greater control over what part of the image you want seen within your mask. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I just wanted to take a moment to introduce Forge the Web, our small website design company. We design and develop sites for small businesses and professionals. If you or someone you know might be interested, check out our website at forgetheweb.com. Link is in the description. Thanks, have a good one. Yeah.